Hi folks, Ted Martin. I get to serve as a fire chief here in Branson with some of the greatest firefighters located right here in Branson, Missouri. A lot of our programs are done in person and so this is one that we're just going to film to share with you, whether you're at school or home or business, about kitchen safety. The National Fire Protection Association uh, themes Fire Prevention Week every year and this year it's serve up fire safety in the kitchen. So what a great place. We're in the fire station, fire station number three on the west side of Branson. Their theme is the pride of the west side as the firefighters that serve in this facility. And we're going to use their kitchen to demonstrate some of the fire safety tips here in our kitchen setting. A lot of injuries occur and fires occur in the kitchens. Most fires in the country start from electrical fires, heating fires, and the third being cooking fires. And that's why we're focused on that today. In the kitchen setting, we want to remind you that when somebody's here working with the different uh, tools, if you will, like the stove or the oven or the microwave or a toaster oven, we really want you to focus on staying in the kitchen while those devices are in use. This is where accidental fires occur. When people leave the room and the, and the, the, the things are left unattended, fires start. The other thing is to have a kid's safe zone, a good three feet or so, like the length of an adult arm away from that stove top. This keeps kids from coming in and grabbing pot handles and pulling hot oils or hot liquids down on them. Make sure the, the spoon handles are pulled away, that handles like this aren't reachable by kids. Keep those off to the side as well. Again, just reducing risk by keeping those handles, everything turned away where kiddos cannot grab them. The other thing is when fires do occur, and I'm just going to kind of share with you some examples, is we'll, we'll try to cook an egg for just a second if anybody would like to try my cooking. But we'll take that egg and we'll, we'll crack it and I think I'll scramble this one. And we'll add a little uh, fiber to our diet called a, a paper towel. And then we'll have a little bit of vegetable oil so we don't have anything stick on us, right? And this is why we talk about keeping this stove top attended at all times. If it gets too hot, and, and we won't want to take our pan and run with it. And we'll talk about why here in just a second. But we're going to get this fire started. And the most important thing we want you to do is turn the stove top off, put a lid on that fire, and the fire will go out. So flames take off. They're a little bit scary. If this pan was the one that was on fire, we do not want you to take and run with it. Two things happen. We've worked incidents where people have run with those pans and spilled oil and got burns on their feet and their legs and their lower torso. The other thing is not to put water on these types of fires. As you'll see, the flames just explode as water and oil simply do not mix. Don't need to worry about baking soda, baking powder, flour, anything like that. Simply use the tips of turn the stove off, which takes the heat source away. Put the lid on, which takes the oxygen source away. Fire goes out and you'll essentially, uh, eventually have something good to eat. Now, if you'll buy my uh, magic trick, that's as good as we're going to get today. The second part of that is just to avoid burn injuries. People get too close to the stove top, they spill oil or water and get a scalding burn, for example. And what we teach the kids in school is to simply move back to the sink, turn on the cool water and cool a burn with, with cool water for about 15 minutes. We relate that to the recess. About 10 to 15 minutes of cool water to cool a burn. If it burns longer than that, it's time to seek medical attention, to go to the doctor, to go to the emergency room, to seek that medical care for a deeper burn injury. Last thing is, like we always talk about, have your 911 address posted. Be able to call 911 immediately if a fire starts in the kitchen top or the stove top or the toaster oven or the microwave. And then always have a portable fire extinguisher handy. If you'll check out our YouTube channel, you'll find more about fire extinguishers for the home. Be safe.